Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber, and in today's video, we will discuss hanger spacing for natural gas and propane piping. All code references will be made from the 2015 B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code of Canada. Now, all type of gas piping needs to be adequately supported. And in order to do this, we need to look in the codebook under Table 6.2. Table 6.2 talks about the different sizes of pipe and the maximum spacing between supports. Example, half-inch black iron pipe requires supports every six feet. Now, the reason for supporting pipe is pretty simple. We don't want to have too few supports on the pipe and cause the pipe to sag in the middle or deflect because that puts undue strain on the fittings and it could actually cause things to fatigue and then finally break. And if we have a ruptured gas line in a house, we all know what that means. Now, in order to show you how to calculate hanger spacing, we're going to take a look at this example right here. So in our first example, we have a one and a quarter inch black iron pipe that is 70 feet long. How many hangers do we need? So first I need to look in table 6-2 to find out what is the appropriate hanger spacing for one and a quarter inch black iron pipe. If I look at the table and come down the MPS column down to one and a quarter to two and a half inch, and then I go across to the right, I will find out hanger spacing is 10 feet maximum. And now I need to do some simple math. I've got a 70 foot long pipe divided by 10 foot spacing equals seven spaces. Note, that is the amount of spaces you just calculated, not the amount of hangers. There is always one more hanger than there are spacers. So we do our math and always add one. So seven plus one equals eight hangers. Now in my next example, I have 40 feet of half inch black iron pipe. Now I look back to table six two and half inch black iron pipe is good to six feet spacing maximum. So I take my 40 foot length of pipe and divide it by six. But note, I don't get a nice clean number like last time. It equals 6.66 spaces. Well, that won't do. So whenever we see a decimal place of any type, we round up. So 6.66 rounded up equals seven, but now we still need to add one for our first hanger. That equals eight hangers. Well, now let's look at a whole home system. I have one and a quarter inches coming from the gas meter all the way off to the first furnace there. But it branches off to one inch that goes down to the water tank. And then the last little leg off the end is all half inch. And that's color coded so you can see where the pipe remains in the size that we're dealing with. Well, let's start with the one and a quarter inch piping. But the first thing I should point out, all this piping is in a residential house and the risers or the drops going up to the furnace hot water tank or gas fireplace are relatively small. So we are not gonna factor anything in to do with the vertical piping. So let's add up the length of the horizontal piping only. That's the flat stuff. So I have a one foot, I have 32 feet. So add those together, we got 33, plus 11 more feet going off to the furnace, which brings us to 44 feet. According to table 6.2, the maximum spacing for one and a quarter inch black iron pipe is 10 feet. So 44 feet divided by a 10 foot spacing equals 4.4 spaces. So now we need to use the round up rule, which brings us to five and plus one, which equals six hangers. Let's move on to the one inch piping going down to the hot water heater. I've got 12 feet going across here and then a further eight feet going across to the water heater. Once again, Vertical piping is not factored in, just the horizontal stuff. So that equals 20 feet of pipe I need to calculate for. The maximum spacing for one inch black iron pipe is eight feet. So I need to take 20 feet and divide it by the eight foot spacing, which gives me 2.5 spaces. So I now need to round up and then add one. 2.5 rounded up is three plus one equals four hangers. Now the last little part is a section of half inch black iron pipe. Now we have a five foot section going up and across, and then we go to a 13 foot section. 13 plus five equals 18 feet of half inch black iron pipe. According to table 6.2, the maximum spacing for half inch black iron pipe is six feet. So 18 feet divided by six foot spacing equals three, but we need to add one for that first hanger. So I need four hangers for half inch. Just so we are clear, this is the method that we use for class. When we're doing this in the field, we want to bring extras with us. 
maybe 50% extra. Do your math on this and bring more. It always sucks getting to the job site and realizing, whoops, I ran out of hangers because I didn't bring enough. So always bring more because if you buy too many, you can return them. Just keep them in good shape and keep your receipt. If you're doing a big commercial or industrial job, you will need supports on the vertical piping. But now we're talking about vertical rises that are like 20 feet tall getting from story to story. So be prepared for that. And the last thing I'm going to point out should be obvious. Whatever type of hangers you're using should be compatible with the type of pipe you're using and should be strong enough to support the weight of the piping. If not, you get a problem. But this brings us to the end of the video and you have yourself a wonderful day.